idea. Mm. Cool. Caddy wampus. Don't get all caddy wampus on me now. I, that's that's more uh, like womp ass. I think caddy wampus is definitively southern racist, which is why I'm unfamiliar with it. But you tend to be well aware of those kinds. There's of things. a lot of racists in my family. Yeah, I'm from South Carolina. Hey, welcome back to our stupid rakes with the Corbin. I'm Rick. It's a fact I'm not proud of. Do you, have, do you still have that Confederate flag tattoo on your back? Uh, yes. Good. I've actually transferred into a partially Hello Kitty slash Confederate. Sexy. Yeah. Uh, what guy, uh, Corbin, Rick. Yeah. Hi. Instagram, Twitter. How you doing? All this kind of stuff. Nice like to see you. Nice to see you. How you doing today? Doing great? Good. Today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> Of one that no one has requested us to do, ever. Of, of one of those smaller, <laughs> lesser-known films. Well, technically, it would be a smaller film. Not by its numbers done. No. <laughs> but technically a smaller film. I think it was done on a budget of, I think, around $18 million, Yeah. Uh, or something like that, uh, which is for a higher, actually, I think, for Canada, but a lower-budget film in, in, yeah. in general. But anyways, yeah. we're doing a movie review. Yep. Uh, the, the 2022 film, Cantado. Mystical Forest. Is that what that means? Yeah. Nice. Uh, and it's directed and written by Rishabh Shetty. Mm-hmm. Uh, and starring. Yeah, he's also starring. Starring uh, Rishabh Shetty, uh, Kishore, uh, Kishore Kumar, not the Kishore Kumar, no. but a different Kishore Kumar. Yeah, right. Uh, and a whole slew of other people as well. Obviously, it just came out this year, but it came out a while ago, and I feel like almost everyone has seen it. So I think we can go ahead and do a full spoiler review. So if you haven't watched it, go on Amazon. You can watch it there. It came out um, a while. And so le- here's one of the things that's very frustrating about when you select a language, because that's what you'll find on Amazon, at least here in the U.S., yeah. It's written in the language. Yeah. So, like, so, the audio language. The audio language will give you four options, but it won't say Canada, Telugu, Tamil, Hindi. It'll it be like written in, in their language. In their language. So, the, the way I do it, aside from asking Corbin, which right when you had texted me back, I'd figured it out. Yeah. I'll click on it, listen, and watch their mouth. Yeah. And once it matches, I know I've got the original language. Yes. So, and, watch it in Canada. Yes, obviously. Um, or Canada. I know. I, Butch, I, not saying that correctly. I saw the first 30 minutes in a Telugu dubbed um, because that's how it, it, it automatically... It just populated that way. It, po- uh, it automatically placed it in a dubbed version. And uh, th- it, like the entire time, partially it was fine. And then the other parts, I was like, it just uh, it, the, the, it seems yeah. off. You shouldn't... Why Amazon, it, get your act together. You shouldn't have to check the original language. It should be the opposite. And then I looked at, and to check, I was like, the language. And I was like, okay, there's four here. And so I texted the group. I was like, which one's Canada? And they told me, and, and it wasn't the one that was selected. And I was like, and I changed it. And I was like, oh, this is so much better. <laughs> yeah. In the original language, obviously. So... Please do that if you haven't watched yes. it already. So this is going to be a hundred percent spoiler review. If yes. you haven't watched it, please go watch it. Come back. Rick, your initial thoughts of Cantata. This will be a strange comparison, but you'll understand why I'm making it. I'm glad I saw Babylon last night. Oh, nice. Yeah. How was it? <sighs> it has mixed reviews, and also it's done yes. really shitty at the box office. It has. <laughs> It's. I put this on Instagram. Which is very I, opposite of how when I, I <laughs> when I posted on Instagram about it, I quoted Mia's song toward the end of La La Land where she sings, "Here's to the ones who dream, foolish as they may seem," mm. and I simply wrote, "Hysterical, a fever dream. If you're one of us, you're gonna get it and probably love it. If you're not one of us, you probably won't, and that's okay." Yeah. And here's the here's the the, the quandary and the challenge. Before I share my thought, let me share the thoughts of others mm. who I've read, whether they were critics or actors or audience members, because mm. I did a lot of research. They've been saying this about Kantara. A technical marvel, a visual grandeur, spectacular, ranks among the best of Indian cinema, insanely entertaining, unbelievable, I don't think I will ever recover from this experience, Hmm. a confluence the likes of which has never been experienced. Because I don't feel that way, huge numbers of you are going to be disappointed, angry, and you name it. 
I liked the movie a lot. A ton of it, and I think this would be understandable, was beyond me. In the same way that when you see Babylon, if you didn't grow up or live for a long time in L.A. and in the entertainment industry and have an understanding and a love for the entertainment industry and what happens on set and the history of what's gone on on set and behind the scenes and the party atmosphere and the whole culture of Hollywood, you're not going to appreciate Babylon the way people who are in it yeah. do. Yeah. I feel the same way about this. Mm. So that's where, for me, I feel bothered by the fact that I'm going to say I like the movie, yeah. but because I don't consider it one of the grandest spectacles in the history of human experience, I'll be considered of an, an idiotic fool for I, not loving it. I don't think you will. <laughs> I don't think you will at all. Um, I think you liked it, though, right? Very much. Yeah. Uh, I think that's all. There's, there's way more to like yeah. about it than not. I think that... I think people can understand because I mean, also I, I mean, I don't think it's <laughs> most of those things either. <laughs> right. um, but I do think there's a lot of. I mean, I think the end itself is worth the price of admission alone. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think like that. The final fifteen to the twenty final minutes. Fifteen to twenty minutes is by far worth the entire price of admission. Yeah, and when you consider uh, the budget he had yeah. to work with. That is spectacular. Yeah, and there's a lot of things that I do think are spectacular uh, in this, like, uh, and we'll get into a lot of it. But yeah, and, and I don't think people will be upset that you like you don't th like think it's the greatest Indian film of all time. Right. Um, but um, or I know people are making comparisons to it and RRR. And in, I don't even think you can compare those. So those I, I are, wouldn't. I don't think it's fair to either film. Yeah, but one of the things like nowhere near like each other there was an indian reviewer whose name i forgot i wanted to reference it but wrote down some of the reasons why it's such a big hit mm -hmm. and here are the things that it listed as some of the reasons why it's such a big hit deeply rooted in our cultural milieu yeah for sure which i, I we're we barely understand india let alone <laughs> yeah regionals a brilliant blend of action dance as well as tradition there's another yeah. aspect yeah cast politics yeah and a strong mythical element, yeah. particularly Botacola performances being authentic. There, there would be no way for no. us to comprehend how authentic or not it was. Outside of it was fucking awesome. Yeah. Like, it was really cool. It was amazing to watch. Um, and I felt like I was learning so much and I loved being exposed to these these things. I love the mythical element. Oh, yeah. I, that's probably one of my favorite parts of it. I, mean, I, I, I really enjoyed this film. I think there's aspects of it that I think could have, at least for a Westerner, maybe been tweaked a little bit. Um, I think the middle got a little long. Uh, and I think you probably could have cut it down to maybe right under two hours as opposed to about 2.20. Yeah. Um, being a little nitpicky there. Uh, and I'm sure but, people say the same thing for Babylon, which is over three oh, yeah. hours. But for me, uh, Indrani and I, and, and all, we saw it with Ashley, Lexus, and Mike, and all oh, of us love loved it. it. But all of us are artists Film buffs, yeah. loving Hollywood. Yeah. So. Um, but overall, I, I, I really enjoyed the. I was actually scared uh, of, of this film for a while just because of how the superlatives well, for it. Right. If, like, okay, if I go into this and I, if, like, not that I wouldn't love it, if I don't like this film, we've seen how that goes before. <laughs> That's Especially with right. Especially the film industry right. of KGF2, which obviously. I you think know, this is way. Oh, it's not. Head even, and shoulders it's, above KGF2. It's not even like in the same stratosphere. <laughs> this, is a, this is a quality film yes. that I do not consider a quality film. Correct. <laughs> Sorry for you lovers of <laughs> KGF2, but if you've seen our review. But that, that, that scared me because I was like, okay, this is like. This is getting massive. Right. And I, like, I don't want to just. I'm gonna tell people what I think, but also I don't want to like just fucking well, offend people. Exactly, with, but we're like, always gonna be honest. Um, but anyway, so let, let's just get into yeah. it. Um, <clears throat> what did I you mean, like? I, is there anything you like most about it? I mean, I, the end was absolutely incredible. Yeah, I, I love the end. <laughs> Whoa, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it made it made me want to do a thumbnail of that or Whoa. a yeah. But I also felt my like... My wife had been saying that literally since the I movie. Don't, I don't want that to be misconstrued in any way because it's so deeply connected yeah, culturally it's a, and Yeah, it's an actual thing that's involved it, with the... Right. It's the, not the just like the head nod that's a no. universal Indian ende endearment. This has a very... Yeah. It, it would be like watching The Passion of the Christ and doing an opening where you go, 
<laughs> I, I, it, it could be totally misconstrued. Yeah, no, no. I, I loved the ending uh, a lot. And his performance, like when his, his perf- tram- yeah. transformation into that little yes. demigod moment was... Like I can't ra- like I said I can't rave enough about that end sequence. I thought it was it was worth the price of admission. I would watch the film just to watch the end again because I think it was I think it was that good. It was it was really entertaining. It was really the visuals of this film as well mm-hmm. I, is one of those things that I will agree with. Like it would like it, I think one of the reasons probably it got such good stuff in theaters is this would have been a really good one to see in theaters. Yeah, and it wasn't. Reason we didn't get to actually see it in theaters, it was here for like a week. Yeah, uh, it wasn't here for very long. Didn't last long um, at all. Um, but like in terms of like visual beauty of natural, sure. kind of like almost a jolly taku. Exactly. Like how beautiful it was. Uh, I really enjoyed that element. I enjoyed when they really got into the mystical element. Me or, too. That's my know, favorite part. I don't know if the mis- like mystical is the correct word, right? Um, or the folklore, or the whatever it is. That entire element when he kept slipping in and out of his yes. ancestors trying to like either contact him or, or him just being really connected. Yes. Uh, and all that. Uh, I really enjoyed all that all those elements um, because I think they helped carry the story along. I thought there was a lot of funny, like, quirky little moments in this film. <laughs> like the little off little like it's not a comedy movie, but every once in a while they show like a really f- stupid yes. funny line. Like I really enjoyed your crotch. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed out loud at that point. Joe was like, okay, like, like this is one style of film, and then like they throw in a couple jokes yes. every once in a while. And I, I appreciated it, right? Um, and so those those element, like the visual elements and and all those uh, and the mystical elements and the end were my, my favorite. And I thought he gave a really great performance. He did. I <laughs> felt his. Perf- I felt when he becomes embodied by the spirit oh, after the it head. Was cool. I I could see in him how much this project means to him. Yeah. That, to me, encapsulated the ferocious passion I'm sure he had in the creation of this thing that means a lot to him. And that's probably my favorite thing about the film is it's there no one could or should argue the reality of the fact that this is a passion project and Rishab Shetty put everything of what matters to him mm-hmm. personally, artistically, in into the film. In, in in very much the same way I just referenced like the Passion of the Christ. Yeah. That was a that's as personal a film as Mel Gibson could have ever made. Yeah. And I feel the same way about this. And that that gives it Especially great Especially for people kudos. from the Canada yeah. um, uh, that's speaking um, cult- culture because if they grew up with this story right, and that they'd never seen it portrayed which I th- I've heard a lot of people say Correct. I mean that's we've heard that a lot like in India like even this year with uh, a film that we we saw and we liked learning, but we didn't really enjoy the film aspect of it. Was the uh, the files the cashmere? Oh yeah, the what, cashmere files. Whatever that film was called, a lot of people I think enjoyed that film more just because the telling got told. Yeah, that the story was finally it was told. Finally told uh, outside of just even if they could overlook a bunch of the film making aspects. That Correct. We couldn't right? As I as I think we did in our review. Yes. Grateful that the story's being, being told addressed and, and all that published. kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but like similar with this of like just seeing your culture up there for the first time. Sure. That isn't, you've never seen and also done well extremely well like it's not just like i think I, it's a bad comparison to what i just said because i don't right. think that film was done well uh i just know that's I, that's where the comparison ends yeah that's where the comparison ends with, for these two films um but the fact that it was just told on screen and the, in this one done really really well with really good cinematography a really cool score behind oh it. what uh, a great score um and obviously we know there's a bunch of controversy behind a, 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 at least a certain song but it's a cool score i thought the, the rock element of it i thought fit the like the demigod feel i loved the, the fine the final moment when we brought the song back because we had reacted to the song yeah. before the movie yeah. came out and it i can't imagine my suspicion is it would be comparable, for example, to someone, again, using the Passion of the Christ as an example. That was a, a, a visceral, deeply personal movie for me and anybody else that falls under the understanding and life within the realm of Christendom, right? Uh-huh. 
saw that movie 11 times Jeez. in theaters <laughs> and was so thankful to see a portrayal of it that was rooted and grounded in reality where Jesus was in blonde haired and blue eyed and the crucifixion was as real as it could go. Yes. And I, I, I would imagine that folks that are familiar with or who have lived within this region of India mm -hmm have got to be gushing with pride and joy mm -hmm. over the telling of this story and the way that it was told. Yeah, and that I, seems to be the consensus of everything oh, I've yeah. read. And I think it was the outside of like the middle part where I think maybe like the the tree falling element may, might have been where it like fell off a little bit for me. Pun intended. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> I was like, I, I just didn't feel like that narrative was needed almost that that whole aspect so i think you could have cut a little bit of this film uh and i i, I know why they put that part in sure. there. i just don't really think it was all that needed and i think it could have been a little um crisper of a cut mm -hmm. um to get to uh the more interesting elements of everything but uh, a lot of the perform like i liked the 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 forced officer his performance and um his his kind of arc of being yeah kind of the villain but then almost they came to almost an understanding. They were just at two different sides. Of, right. And they kind of, I liked it. They both wanted to preserve the forest, but for completely different completely reasons. Completely different reasons. Uh, so I liked his performance. I think um, the love interest probably could have been fleshed out a little more. I would have preferred more fleshing out in time with that yeah. than the sequence that yeah. you referred to as well. Because, um, like, that whole. I And I know I, I looked up after that they they had a history like him and the girl mm. like when they were kids and right. they had crushes but like it wasn't totally obvious at the beginning and so it kind of was almost creepy of him just like <laughs> pinching a girl and, and pulling her hair <laughs> yeah pull, like uh, but apparently like it was shown but you know since we have to read subtitles you don't see everything that happens right. on the screen right and so i think i missed that part at the beginning uh, I, I i picked up on the pinch yeah what i missed was th a uh, build up justifying that moment that made it fully yeah. immersive for me and believable. Yeah, I I, I do I too had a, a slight disconnect yeah. in the um, moment because I liked her. Me too. Uh, I liked her performance. Yeah, uh, and I liked their relate when it got going. I liked their relationship, uh, but it seems like it was just almost uh, thrown away after a certain little bit. Uh, yeah, and like at, at the end, she like threw a spear, and then just. That was the that was kind of it until she was pregnant again. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I was like hoping yeah. for a, like a little more. Of I a, did like a, we had a heart. slight Agent Tina moment in yeah. the fighting. I love the women kicking ass. Yeah, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Yes, um, and I, I thought a lot of the the battle sequences, uh, especially the end. Obviously, yeah, I think the they, final they, hut sequence they and saved, the climax. They was saved great. their budget. I feel like I also I appreciated as well the the mud fight. Those are some of the harder things. In the when, beginning? Yeah. yeah. When you don't have a lot of very going pretty on, again. It was very pretty. And there were no mistakes visually in that fight. I felt like we no. were watching a real mud fight. And that's that's difficult stunt work to choreograph, execute, and film without you having blunders where someone misses a kick or it didn't look like it worked. So the stunt work in this, I thought, was extremely yeah, good. I agree. Um, and you could tell that they had a, a low budget at times with some of the action. Like there's yes. ways like if you if you know film and I'm sure a lot of you know this like you can see if they didn't have the budget to do a full fight or get a, a real choreographed person because they do kind of like cheats essentially camera work cheats right to um hide, to compensate yeah, yeah for the lack of budget or whatever that they had to do and you could see that at times um, but not, totally forgivable when you consider their budget oh yeah and what they were able to accomplish yes absolutely yeah, and I think course. they saved a lot of their budget for the final the the part that really really like, mattered like Minimal Nari did yeah and yeah. it was in like a lot of like the end I just can't rave enough about it because like a lot of the elements like I don't even understand I was just like oh cool why is, right why is he running back into the forest right and, and, and that, they, that, that's gotta mean something what are they doing in the circle what is that <laughs> Yeah. What does the circle mean? And they're I, nodding to each other. Yeah. And there's got to be something really deeply amazing about. Well, I know that the, they were father, the father and, son and son and all that yeah. kind of stuff. But there, I know there's more to it that of I just can't know. Like, and, <laughs> that's that's my favorite thing about the movie. Is and I bet if I knew more, I'd be even more blown away. 
is the line between spirituality and superstition and the yeah. connectivity between the invisible realm and the physical realm and the stewardship of a place versus people trying to take over it and the boundaries that are written by men that are not drawn. They change generation to generation. Yeah. And the, the connectivity and the frequencies and vibrations of the animal kingdom and its connectivity to the spiritual realm, all of that... I wanted much more of yeah. that, yeah. but got enough of it to find it to be a, a really uh, a, a intriguing and, for the most part, most of the time, I was involved and captivated. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and the... Oh, shit. <laughs> lost your train of thought. Yeah, I lost train of thought. <laughs> God, I was going to say something. Um, oh... I don't remember. Rishabh Shetty? No. The character? I can't remember. The wife? Yeah, mysticism? Something like that. Superstition and spirituality? Yeah, something like that. Oh, no. Um, at the end, I really, in, like, when he s did the switch, and it was great, but then I really, like, the entire um, uh, village, like, knew exactly what was going right, on they knew immediately. Immediately. And, like, all were just, like, right. like we're, we're witnessing what we... Uh, we've, 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 known. we've known and heard and been waiting for. Yes. Especially Our from demigod. him. Yes. Especially from him because he was always reluctant. Yeah. Because he was freaked by the fact that his dad was that person who disappeared in the forest. So he finally stepped into the position they'd been believing for. And it was also very affirming about the fact that they were fighting on the right side of the forest. Yeah. For them. And that was so interesting the fact that he left as well in the end and now he has a son right in obviously his, his his wife or love interest now and so the it kind of the cycle carries on and right. which i'm assuming is part of the folklore right me too that's what i assumed in the end well the whole story was that way cuz it begins so many years before with the mm -hmm. king and the very first we get of the demigod saying, this is what you get to do or not. And, and then it just goes on from generation to generation. Yeah. What was nice about that moment is it didn't feel contrived to set up a sequel. It felt rooted in the history. Yeah, I, I did hear that they might do a sequel. They could. Which would be weird to me. This scene, some films like, I mean, maybe they have a great story and it, it, there's another part of the folklore that is obviously I have Take no it clue, for, right? Whoever is in the womb is yeah. the next one to tell that story. Um, I just, this seems like a one-off that like, it could be. It, it's, it's good to be alone. Uh, sure like is. It's a good, it's a real good standalone film. Right. What do I know? There might be a lot more story that needs to be told, and, and then of that, course, that I just have. There's no probably clue about. people who know all of this so well that they're already thinking about what other things could be addressed in a sequel. I'll tell you what, that uh, we have no clue about. Harambe Films <laughs> has a lot of money capital uh, to uh, work with. To work with when you consider budget and surplus. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> the fact that they've now had KGF. And this, I and can imagine, like they're just like, what do we do with all this money? <laughs> I can. Uh, Bollywood's like, can we have some? <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm imagining everybody at Disney who handles money is looking at this film and calling up Cameron and going, "Really, really, you needed to spend that much money on your film?" <laughs> Probably. Uh, it's uh, it's it's quite impressive uh, what what they've. Uh, made <laughs> yeah uh, especially this year just alone uh obviously kgf2 making uh, the most money yeah. i think ever i think it's now I, I could be wrong but i think it's like of an indian film i think it's i think it's like the highest grossing now or something like that yeah i it's a lot of money uh anyways fantastic i really i, I really enjoyed the i film. really liked it too um so uh, and i know a bunch of you really really enjoyed this film um and, and i hope that's like, enough that we liked it oh yeah that there isn't the expectation that we walk away with it from the same aspects of the quotes i gave earlier no um i think some of those quotes are are um I can attest to some parts of this film. Uh, and I think it's a, a really good film. I think it's probably one of the uh, better films, Indian films of the year. Agreed. Uh, absolutely. It definitely should um, be in that conversation. Uh, um, and obviously, I think if you're in the culture, it probably could be your number one film. Of the absolutely year. If, could the, be. The fact that this I, means a lot to you and you understand more, a lot more than we did. Yep. Um, so anyways, let us know what you thought about this film, which will be the next 
Canada film that we should watch. Uh, and uh, any other things you need to know down below.